In this video, we'll be going over an isobaric process. This is a thermodynamic process where pressure remains constant while heat or Q is added or removed into the system, which causes the temperature and volume to change. Also note that the internal energy of the gas in the system also changes. In this example, heat is added, which causes the temperature, volume, and internal energy to increase. This causes the piston to move, which causes the piston to do work. At the top right of the screen, we have a graph that has the pressure in the piston chamber on the y-axis and the volume in the piston chamber on the x-axis. Below it, we have two pistons which represent two different points in the isobaric process. One is fully compressed, this will be referred to as point one. One is fully expanded, this will be called point two. Notice on the graph of the isobaric process that we have a pink line labeled isobar. This pink line represents the isobaric process. All variations of piston movement and changes of volume and temperature are captured between point 1 and point 2 on this line. Notice that the pressure does not change during the process. The only variables that change are the volume and temperature. I have listed two isotherms on this graph to indicate that there is a change in temperature. Let's take a look at the ideal gas equation for this constant pressure process. This time rearrange so the variables volume and temperature are on one side and the constants mass, gas constant, and pressure are on the other. The equation is volume divided by temperature equals mass times the gas constant divided by pressure. Notice that in order to keep the right side of the equation constant, if volume increases, then temperature must increase, and if volume decreases, then temperature must also decrease. So volume and temperature are proportional. To find the work, we once again need to find the area under the line, or isobar in this case. Looking at the graph, we can see that it is a rectangle. This means that we can take the pressure times the difference of the volume 2 minus the volume 1 to get the area. We simply took the height times the width. Now because some of the energy goes into heating the gas, the total heat added into the system is comprised of the work from the isobaric process plus the internal energy change. The internal energy change can be found simply by taking the total heat added or Q added and subtracting the work added. Now let's do an example problem to find work. We are given an isobaric process with pressure of 101,325 newtons of meter squared volume 2 of 0.5 meters cubed, and volume 1 of 0.1 meters cubed. Plugging in our divins into the area under the isobar, or total work formula of pressure times the change in volume, we get 40,530 joules of work done on the piston. Once again, this is an over-idealized problem to help you understand a constant pressure isobaric process. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.